Yep, we got engaged on Halloween. But we tried for nine months until we finally got pregnant with Chase. Alright, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Valentine's Day and we're kind of on a little mini road trip here this morning. So I thought it would be the perfect time for Ken and I to have a little chat kind of make a video about our love story or maybe like some things you may not know about our relationship, just dating, marriage, all that good stuff. Okay? Sure. <laughs> He's unprepared for this. I didn't even tell him about nope, it. I'm not prepared. <laughs> I didn't take any notes. So pretty much, I don't think we've ever really gone through, I know we've talked about different parts of our relationship and dating and all that kind of stuff before, but I just kind of wanted to make one video all in one place where we just kind of tell our story. So, alright, so when did we first meet the first time? Um, I was, we were, I was in sixth grade. You were probably in what, eighth grade at the time? Um, when you were babysitting across the street? Yeah, um, I'm I babysit for them for a couple of years, so I was probably in like seventh grade, the first when you would have been in fifth grade. Um, okay. But one other thing that I always remember is um, I grew up in a house next to a boy named Jason, and he was in Ken's grade. And I remember one year, it was like the end of the school year, or whatever, we brought our yearbooks home and we were just looking through different people in our class. You were in fourth grade, I was in sixth grade. We were in school so together. She's been in love with me for a long time. Just hold time. on. And I remember going through the um, Jason's class and I was like, oh my gosh, who is that? And it was a picture where <laughs> I think you had like a cream colored sweater on and this like collared shirt and your hair was like just feathered over to the side. Do you remember that picture? Wasn't yes. the curly yeah, hair? I wasn't did. the curly I hair know, one? I know. It was one. more like this like I don't know. Bouffant hair it was goofy. Yeah, I remember. I know so what you're funny, about. But I was like, ooh, I like him. <laughs> and we never even met each other. That well, then so what happened weird. is I I ended up playing baseball on, on his team. His dad was our coach. Yeah. Do you remember that? No. And we came over. You guys, you were, you and Heather were swimming. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't we had remember. a baseball. I was over there all the time for baseball stuff. I remember just meeting you. I used to every day when I would get out of school for junior high, I would walk down to the elementary school, and then I don't know, it's probably what like a mile or so walk. Yeah. Um, At least a mile. These two boys that I babysat. One was in Ken's grade, and then one was like a couple no, years they, younger. They were both younger than me. Oh. Really? Yeah, Shane. Oh yeah, he, he was Heather's age. That's yeah. Right. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, I babysit these two boys after school every day, and he lived across the street from their house. Right. So being they were boys, we were always outside playing. They'd be throwing the football around, basketball, playing basketball, whatever. So that's how we um, originally kind of met, right? Right. Yeah. And then. A few of the time, well, I don't know how many, several of the times, I guess, used to sneak over um, when I would babysit, and when they would get home, I don't out, know if they Run would, out the front door. Yeah, because they would pull their car around back, and I'd have the kids in bed or whatever, and uh, we'd just watch movies and hang out and stuff, and he would run out the front door, remember? All the time. <laughs> And then, so I think we officially were like boyfriend girlfriend when I was freshman. In eighth, well, I I was yeah. in seventh grade. Yeah, I was. That's right. I was just starting high school, and you were just starting junior high. And you yeah. can tell that story how we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't break up. You dumped me. Why? So she she basically <laughs> called me from a phone booth at at school and said that. She wanted the breakup because I was too young. Yeah. She was a big freshman girl, and <laughs> I couldn't be dating, she a, couldn't seventh be dating grader. a seventh grader. It's like embarrassing. So, we didn't have cell phones back then, so no, it was pay phones. <laughs> so I said whatever. That was that it. That was it. I don't think either one of us probably lost any sleep over that <laughs> I don't one. Think so. But then she she kept thinking about me all those years. Well, I was one of those girls in high school that I always had to have a boy that I liked. I always had to be writing on my notebooks. I love so-and-so or candy plus so-and-so. 
because I dated quite a few different people in high school. And not really. You met Andrew's dad, and you dated junior him. Junior year, junior yeah. and senior year, we dated, but freshman and sophomore year. So whatever. But we still always kind of. You still handed me the notes in the hallway. Well, then once I was a junior and you were a freshman, we would see each other in school. Yeah. And what memories do you have from like any of that kind of stuff? Actually, I just remember Danielle picking me up in her car. Car. You picked me up once, didn't you? And we yeah. went to Danielle's work and Little Caesars. Just hung out, but we never really dated or anything. You'd hand me letters once in a while. And what were the letters like? How much you love me? No, it wasn't. I, I had a girl. I had a girlfriend. Pretty much from what was it end to end of, well actually sophomore year all the way through high school actually in first year into college I had the same girlfriend and I started dating Andrew's dad but we still talked then we move on to the next chapter where then Andrew's dad and I split up right after Andrew turned one right yeah and then what happened. What do, you, what do you recall? You, um, call, you called me. I know that. Asked me. What I, I was actually. I was single. I was single at the time, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. you called me and. and you are like, I'm single. You're single. I never <laughs> said that. <laughs> no, I never said that. Uh, See, I was a skinny. I was a handsome man too. Yeah, I I may have told this story before. This is something that's really interesting, kind of funny. And I, it's not like I told you this, but um, Andrew's dad worked a job where he like physical labor type job I remember in my mind because whenever you go through a bad relationship you're like whatever that person is like you want something the exact opposite right so I was like I don't want somebody who has a hobby of liking cars because my ex was obsessed with like what, are, what do you call it cars Just hot rods hot rods yeah um and I wanted somebody who like was a business guy like dressed up for his job and whatever so here we had talked on the phone like a few times and I was like hey I'm taking Andrew to the lights at the zoo yeah and what do you do I came from work and I had a suit on and she still laughs about that. I just laugh because who goes to the zoo in a suit I was at work I came from work to your house oh, but it was just like funny in my mind because it was like people what did, go to the zoo what in did suits he, it was like you read my mind though because I hadn't seen you really in a long time yeah you know that's pretty do you remember though. coming to my front door do you remember that yeah, day I remember doing that that so old. then I haven't lost my mind yet. <laughs> so then we dated. We went on a few dates. I mean, when we went, took Andrew to the zoo, I mean, it was not like dating really. We're just friends. We've been friends for a long time. And I kind of don't remember a lot of the. Oh, don't lie. In well, what? We dated. We partied. We had fun. Oh no, no, no. And no, then I, I moved in, and then she kicked me out. And then I moved back in again, and then she kicked me out again. Why did we break up? Do you ever remember? Because you were not, you were all mixed up in your brain because you didn't want to jump into another relationship. And you were like kind of immature. Still am. Look yeah, what we're, we're doing right now. Well, the one thing though that we didn't talk about is remember when we got back together the last time, we were only back together for two months when we got engaged. Yep, we got engaged on Halloween. So Explain to them how we, we got engaged. You don't want to? It's all you. <laughs> so I was working on doctor's office I used to work at, and he texted me. He's like, hey, let's uh, go to the park for lunch or dinner or whatever it was. And so we went to the park, and he took a Reese's peanut butter cup and just like somehow, how'd you even get it open? Just laced it open somehow. Got it in real careful. And, yeah. Oh, so we had Subway first. Yep. And, we were sitting and you're there. like, I don't want dessert. <laughs> I'm full or whatever. Yeah, you said you were full. And you're like, no, you need to eat this. Have this chocolate. And so then I opened the Reese's cup and there was my ring. Yep, the same one you have on your hand? Well, not exactly. The same diamond. Yeah. The I got it reset because my original ring was gold. Platinum. So I got it reset probably what three years ago something like that. Yep I looked at probably close to 50 60 diamonds before I picked that diamond. 
It's very particular about his jewelry. Yes, yeah, so it's very good clarity, color, cut, all that good stuff. It's one of a kind. Like me. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, we got engaged on Halloween, and then we got married the following October second. The following. Year. Everything is Octo October. is usually our good months. Yeah. Football season, fall, changing yes. colors, wedding. Um, didn't we go on a honeymoon too? Yeah, we went to Hawaii for our honeymoon. In October, yeah. And by right around the end of October, <coughs> beginning of November is when we found out we were pregnant with Blake. So pretty sure I got pregnant on the honeymoon. Blake was born the following June. Yep. And we knew we wanted to have kids right away, so we were like, hey, whatever happens, happens. And of course, we can get pregnant right away. And then we, soon after that, well, Blake was one when we moved into our current house. We had our current house built. Yeah, back and, in 2001. Yep. And then Chase, we actually... So we got married in 99. Yeah. Moved into the new house, well, the house we're in now in 2001. 2001. So for 16 years, we've been in the same house, same stuff. So this new house is kind of the next, next step. Yeah, next step. We've, we've saved lots of money. And we Our worked, dream house. Yep, we've worked really hard to get where we are right now, so. Yeah, there were many times in our relationship, like starting our recruiting business that what we're entering into our 11th year now? 11th or 12th ten, year. Something, something like know. that. It's been, we usually just say it's been 10 years because we know it's been 10. I don't right. know if it's 11 or what. But um, we had many times ups and downs financially. No. Got debt, then got out of debt. Yep. Got back in debt, got out of debt. Yeah, but I mean, you got to realize yeah. A lot of people go to work every day to their jobs, and we took we took risks. We had four kids at home, and we took a risk, quitting my job, starting a business with the two of us with really not a whole lot of anything. And there were, like Candy said, feast and famine. There were times when things were awesome, and it's like, oh my yeah. God, what are we getting? And then there are other times where it's like, oh boy, what's When's the next check coming? Yeah, are we gonna be able to, be able to, be able to put food on the table? So we've yeah. taken a lot of risks um, to get where we're at today. You know for sure and I know we've talked about this before but when we started YouTube it was kind of just a hobby for, yeah for fun and then once I started making money at it I was like you know that definitely helped us get out of debt again we're able to pay off everything and well it's just and a, just a dual in, just a dual, in, house, dual yeah. income you know um, one part we skipped was okay so we had Blake right away we're moving into the new house and when Blake turned one, we were like, we moved into the new house and we were like, all right, well, let's try to get pregnant again. And I don't know if it was just the stress of the new house and moving in and all the work or whatever, but we tried for nine months until we finally got pregnant with Chase. Remember that? Yeah. So then we thought we'd be smart and we were like, he, he, he was a lot of work as a baby. He cried. He had colic. And, he cried um, all the time. Yeah, but um, he still does. Then with Carly, we're like, oh, well, it might take us a long time to get pregnant again, so we better start trying right when Chase turns one. He turned one November 25th, and on your birthday, we had a 30th birthday party for you. Yeah. I don't know if it was on your birthday, but around right, December right, 7th, yeah, right and we had found out we were pregnant with Carly, and we got pregnant that time right away. Yeah. So was crazy. I guess it was just how it was meant to be. So that's how Carly and Chase ended up being so close together in age. But yeah, I'm, I just, uh, I think it's our, the most interesting thing I think about our relationship is just the fact that a lot of YouTubers are like this if they don't go to a job every day, but I feel like our relationship is a little bit unique compared to a lot of people just because we're together a lot. We both work from home work together the crazy thing is yeah we're home but we're not really yeah. together as much as you think that's true because I'm I'm usually I'm pretty busy yes. doing my stuff I you know I still work with the recruiting business and I help with the YouTube stuff I, I work a lot yeah. not as much as you yeah think. I actually just complained to him the other day I'm like we're home together every day and I feel like I haven't seen you in like three days remember that yeah yeah so. 
Alright, so that wraps up our little love story. That's our Valentine love dish. Yep. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll give you a kiss, but you won't kiss me on yeah. camera. We actually, gets grossed we out. actually just whipped and bought our Polaris, so. You're not supposed to put that in the video. Well, that's alright. Thanks guys for watching. Right thumbs, on. Thumbs up this video, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.